Hello Internet, Dave here, and welcome to my Let's Build for the Warhammer 40k Canadian Stock Troops from the Imperial Guard Army. They're just regular humans fighting in the 41st millennium against chaos, aliens, and all sorts of nasty, nasty beings. Let's get these guys built! Once again, we're doing a speed up time lapse video. Uh, reason I wanted to do the uh, Canadian Stock Troops from Warhammer 40k is that I have been a uh, Imperial Guard player for a very long time and have lots of models lying around so I thought I might as well uh, build them for you guys. Uh, now as I said in the little intro the Canadian stock troops or the Imperial Guard are literally just average everyday men and women of the Imperium of Man. They are either born on a planet which is literally there just for the Imperial Guard or conscripted into the Imperial Guard from prisons and mine colonies and stuff like that. On the planets where they are just bred for the Imperial Guard they will have more training than your conscripts. The most famous of the Imperial Guard training world is Canada which is right next to the Eye of Terror, which is the main rift into the space of the warp where the Chaos Demons live. The Imperial Guard are literally just cannon fodder. They are as expendable as bullets in the eyes of the Imperium. In fact, some of the armor and weapons that the Imperial Guard carry are more valuable to the Imperium than the guards men and women themselves. Some of the armor of the Imperial Guard can be traced back generations, fathers, grandfathers, great grandfathers. The average lifespan of the Imperial Guard trooper is one mission and within that mission at about 10 minutes. The Imperial Guard are bred on doctrine and obviously the worship of the God Emperor, the Emperor of Mankind. I am building 10 Imperial Guard today. I have chosen to give them as much detail as possible, including little side clips for knives, extra bits of uh, bullets or las, las packs and a water pack, as well as a um, Vox caster. I do have a sergeant with a chain sword and a las pistol. Uh, a las weapon is literally a little laser that flashes in the face of the enemy, but does cause little burning to flesh, can melt some flesh. The las rifle is probably the most versatile of all the Imperial Guards arsenal. You, every Imperial Guard has a las rifle. And as I said, the LAS rifles are actually more worth to the Empire of Man than the Guardsmen themselves. The two special ones I'll make in this particular build are grenade launchers. Because I haven't got any grenade launcher troops. The reason I went with grenade launchers is not only do they get a good thing through cover, but also able to disrupt charges and that get multiple shots off with the grenade launchers rather than just a standard one shot have a bit more firepower a bit more stopping power than your flamers the flamers can also go through cover as well and of las cannons las, las guns obviously cannot i am i'm going to paint these models off screen unless there's an absolute outcry for a, uh, a building of these on screen. If you do want that, please please do leave a comment below. Um, obviously, because they're not a moving model like my Gundam, so my Gunpla, I have to stick these together, and I'm doing that on a piece of paper, making sure I do not stick the floor together. I will be building more 40k stuff in the future. 
Um, the reason why I collect Imperial Guard, as I say, is because they're just literally normal, everyday people. Just showed off the sergeant there, uh, complete. They're just normal men and women. No genetic mod modifications, sometimes a bit of cyber enhancement if they survive more than one battle for obviously losing a limb. But apart from that, they are literally just everyday men and women that you would find walking along the way. The conscripts have no choice in the matter. They are literally just drafted. They can be, as I say, drafted from prisons from just general population areas, from police forces, from fire services, from government, doesn't matter who you are, if you're drafted by the Imperial Guard, you go with the Imperial Guard. There is no other way around us. The Imperial Guard members are controlled by a common sir. There, he's basically like your supreme over being he has the right to shoot any deserter and keeps discipline in the ranks through acts of violence, shouts of praise to the God Emperor, and as I say, through the fear of death. Though as an Imperial Guard, you're more you are likely to die in battle, as I said, your average life expectancy in a guard unit is one battle and about ten minutes before you are either shot to pieces eaten by aliens, hacked apart, or shot in the back by a common sir, who will run away while you are left to die. The common sirs also are in charge of the recruiting process and the training process while you travel to your, the planet of your doom in space on the massive city-sized ships which can travel at great distances. The Imperial Guard are also known as the Hammer of the Emperor because of their sheer weight of numbers. Like a hammer con constantly bashing forward, bashing forward until the enemy breaks. They are not a surgical instrument like the Space Marines, not a quick sharp slice, but a massive booming whack. They do have some excellent armoured vehicles, which I will probably build for you as well, as well as some more elite tr combat troops, and they do have genetically altered troops, but not as your general rank and file, which is what the Imperial Guard is mainly made out of. The genetic modification ones are Rattlers, which are like Hobbits, Dwarfs, either mainly the Sniper, snipers of the Imperial Guard and also have quite a bit to do with illegal in-company black markets and then your ogres which are well like ogres basically uh, giant um, humanoid creatures strong resilient a bit sluggish and also very childlike minded they will take great care the ogres of an Imperial Guard person that shows them hospitality and love which makes them very useful tools but also very easy to corrupt and uh, yeah that, that is basically a bit of about the Imperial Guard I will give you guys some more information about that as my videos progresses about the particular units uh, models that I build and uh, why I decided that I was going to build them for you. If you have any suggestions about the colour scheme you want to see these guys paint as, please do leave a comment in the description in the comments below. Let's finish these guys off. To be painted, all made up, lovely the way I like them. He's running short, two with grenade launchers, sergeant, box caster, and then the rest of the Imperial Guard. Squad. I'll paint these off camera unless you guys say otherwise. Please do feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Till next time, the Emperor protects.